Hey, hey y'all. y'all! And welcome to the Sorry Not Sorry Generation podcast, where we bring you a not so healthy dose of humor and reality as we get our hands dirty with some serious nostalgia and question everything. Let's dive in. Hey y'all! Hey y'all! It's Misty. It's Ani. And today we are continuing Parody December, uh, which we really need to come up with a catchier name for that. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, by watching a very Potter sequel, so we are what, which is what it's called, the uh, Star Kids uh, second Harry Potter parody play that we will be watching. Uh, that is also on it's on YouTube for anybody who's interested to watch it. It's free to watch, and if you just click on the playlist, it'll play all the little videos for you because it is separated into little acts, part one, two, and three, and all that. So. Now um, I will admit I really enjoyed seeing. I really fell in love with Voldemort, and words really she in- never thought she'd say, and seeing him shirtless the entire time, I enjoyed that. That's and fun. I know he plays Umbridge in this version. He does. He does play Umbridge. He went from playing Voldemort to playing Umbridge in this. So I'm hesitant but curious to see how well he pulls off a pink suit. Oh, it is a dress. Even better. <laughs> it's a very short dress i'm gonna be honest with you even um, better uh lucy i'm Malfoy also looking for i'm excited for that i'm also really excited to see more of draco just Flopping flouncing around, around. Mm-hmm. honestly like draco is my favorite part of these and uh, uh and i'm her- sorry he acts like a fish and you're giving me shit for that i didn't try to exfoliate somebody's <laughs> face in the middle of battle with one <laughs> You want to talk fish shit, girl? (laughs) Really? My love of female Draco Malfoy is eons above (laughs) your... Hey, I wonder if I can get this ice toad to attack this enemy elf that it's (laughs) friends with by trying to shove a dead frozen fish in the elf's mouth. (laughs) <laughs> no, I can't do it the first time. Let me try again. <laughs> Literally, Asha was the only one that Elf could have seen. And if it had managed to actually get a decent attack off, it could have killed her. And you're trying to force feed it frozen, <laughs> dead fish. <laughs> Our podcast <laughs> is the fish podcast now. Forget the name of City Campaign, people. It's the what weird shit can Valkaria pick up with her mage hand campaign? <laughs> I, I, I am now specifying that every item you encounter, whether it's a pen, a piece of paper, a rock, a coin, <laughs> they're all six pounds now. Oh, oh come on! Not a single one is under that five pound limit. I know. Come on, no, that's not no. fair. You can't make no, a blade of grass all, that can be like six pounds. Every blade of grass is six five point one pounds each. <laughs> your your clothes are all each individually five point one pounds. Valkaria still has fish in her bra. Oh my god. <laughs> Valkaria still has fish in her bra. That is... Mm, mm, mm. I never actually said she had fish in her bra. You told us about the fish, and when I asked you if you still had some, where exactly <laughs> did you pat yourself? Huh? You patted where your bra straps are, and then around your boobs, girl. Like, I was sorry. Not only was the camera pointing directly at you, but Aaron was sitting less than a foot away from you. We all saw that one, young lady. <laughs> Every fucking one of us. And sometimes I wish this was video recording so I could play it back to you. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm also really glad that it's not video like recording because no offense to our lovely and wonderful listeners, but I feel like I'd actually have to like do my hair and that's not something I want to do. So, so we're watching a Harry Potter sequel in which we will see a um, the guy who played Voldemort is now playing Umbridge. We will see uh, Elvin um, Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy. He looks. Oh like yeah. He, he looks like. Um, you said in, he looks like he could be Lucius, like he he could be Legolas's like distant relative. He looks like he should be Legolas's uncle, because like okay. anybody who's watched like the Hobbit movies and you've seen Legolas's father, who's like the king of Mirkwood and everything, he looks like he should be related to this man. 
and just like but with no responsibilities were ever given to him kind of a situation like the younger the like the much younger child who's never going to be like in line for the throne kind of a situation and has just spent his entire life drinking wine and like having uh-huh. food fed to him yeah that's that's okay. malfoy in this i believe there's okay. a centaur at some point as well uh okay i sure. can't remember i think it's the same person but i'm not entirely certain um But uh, yeah, so we are going to be continuing our parody month with a Harry Potter sequel. And uh, if you didn't catch the first one, uh, you don't technically have to have watched that one to watch this one. But uh, Nothing is in linear order. Literally, if you try to make any sense of this, whether you're listening to us when we're talking about it as things happen, or you're going to watch it yourself, if you try to make sense of it, you're going to fail. So just don't. Whatever comes at you, just accept it for the insanity that it is. Oh, I think we do see the scarf of sexual preference here, though. So. Hey! So, and, uh, but is yeah. Is it back from its honeymoon with the sorting hat? I believe so. Okay. I believe at this point it's it's back. Uh, but, uh, all right. We are going to kick it off with a very Potter musical. It is in no way sponsored or approved by J.K. Rowling. You are late? Late to what? <laughs> we backed the wrong side again. The Death Eaters are mad at each other because Voldemort's gone. Technically, he's off having fun with Quirrell. So, yeah, he's off uh, dancing and tapping with Quirrell. (laughs) Exactly. Had to break into the Ministry for a purse. For a purse, or did he have to break in for the Daily Prophet? (laughs) I mean, he might have had to break in for the Daily Prophet. (laughs) Definitely, definitely Legolas vibes. Yep. Oh, he's and tall he's, and too. He is. He's very tall and he's very thin. And it's just like, yeah, that's an elf. I like. That's that's definitely a Malfoy. He's also dressed like a pirate, to be fair. And the Death Eaters are sing arguing at each other. And look, the Death Eaters are all marching in. Single and singing. File. More and singing, singing and dancing Death Eaters. <laughs> They're doing jazz hands and going evil hands. Evil hands. <laughs> Evil hands. Why does that sound like Snape? (laughs) They're just like, look, we gave everybody happy ever after the first one. We didn't know what to do with the next one. (laughs) We're in this sorry state because of him, of Harry Potter. Oh, it's a time turner. They stole a time turner. Oh my god, they stole. (laughs) I forgot they stole a time turner. This makes sense. Now they're going to go back in time and reenact the movie, I guess. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's going to be the actors reenacting their own play. <laughs> yes, Malfoy's... Lucy's plan is to use the time turn and go back in time and kill Harry. I mean, to be fair, that would have made the most sense. Right? <clears throat> the Death Eaters are like, wait, does that mean Voldemort's coming back? Vaguely sounds like Star Wars music. It does. It does kind of sound like, <laughs> like Imperial March music. And now they're everyone all is all over touching Lucas. him. Everyone yeah. is touching him. I want to. I want to know <laughs> how many people took the chance to just go over his. I crotch. thought you were gonna say you wanted to be one of those people who are just rubbing <laughs> your hand over him. For Voldemort, yes, not so much for Malfoy. But I mean, I want to know how many people just had the you know just they're covering I mean, his crotch. So just hello. That dude with like the slight beard on his face standing directly to the side of him put his hand in Lucius's shirt multiple times. Like those fingers did not stay on the outside of that shirt. I'm gonna be honest with you. And now they're all spinning in circles because they're going back in time. We imagine how many of them ran into each other doing this. My god. I'd end up on the floor within the first two turns. It just bum rush Lucius as he's spinning. Yeah. I like how they have Rumble Roar in the corner of their icon now. Rumble Roar. I'm trying to think of Christmas movies. I have way too many that are favorites and like not enough that I haven't seen. <laughs> Guys, platform this- 9, platform 10, nothing in between. There is nothing between platform 9 and 10. Oh, and Darren got- Chris is back. So they've gone back in time to Harry's first year because in the last move, like the last play, it was Harry's second year. 
because they were using the, that the mixture of plots from years two and four. So in this one, they'll use a mixture of uh, years one and five. Okay. They keep me under some <laughs> stairs. <laughs> and the, the guy's just like, oh, nope. I don't get paid like, enough for this. The guy's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Bye. Molly Weasley. Is that? Bill. Who is not Is that the same school? girl that plays Hermione? No. <laughs> okay. Percy with his stupid lips. <laughs> Percy looks like he got a perm. For some reason. Oh, there's, uh, there's Arthur. Arthur. Why are the twins just jiggling? Spazzing? Yeah. I think they're supposed to be intimidating laughing. Okay. But for some reason, Charlie and Bill, who are both graduated by the time Harry went to school, are both here to get on the uh, train to Hogwarts. And there's oh, Ron. Ron's back. I got this idiot little sister. And she's fucking sucking her thumb. <laughs> she's only supposed to be a year younger than them. She's supposed to be 10. Well, now you know why they all slap each other. They do a slap chain. Okay. Smile and you turn the camera off. Yep. <laughs> I'm so- why does arthur weasley sound like he is a mouse well a cartoon mouse molly weasley sounds like she's from new jersey so yes. and he's got a lisp uh, he, a doesn't, he doesn't know what a, a moogle, moogle is. is you stick with ronnie over there and then i'll show you how to get on the platform i wasn't aware that molly weasley was from new jersey <laughs> Leave the boys alone, Ginny. And she's crying like an infant. She's ten! Yep. <laughs> Ron just screaming about freedom. She's such a little sister. And now Ron is sizing up Harry. They see each other for the first time. Yep. Do red you want vine. a delicious red vine? Red vines are very important in this musical. Okay. So they've realized they can now bond and be best friends forever over the red vines. And now they're imitating one another. <laughs> marrying each other favorite who amy mann song yeah i don't know the answer is red vines apparently now they're best Re- friends because of red vines where have you been on my life um <laughs> we're under some stairs <laughs> you, all you gotta do is go for that brick wall just run honestly first visit. the pure stupidity of harry in his first year with this woman saying just run full tilt into a wall and you'll be fine and doing it a car crash a car crash killed Lillian James Potter. To be fair, he it's, it's his way of covering up the scar is a sweat headband. And I don't <laughs> really know horrible. what to do with that. <laughs> and Ron sees it for the first time and just loses his mind. So Ron didn't say his name because he couldn't. He was too starstruck. And some uh-huh. guy who sounds like he's from fucking, um, I guess he's supposed to have a Cockney accent and doing a horrible job just goes, hey, Harry Potter! <laughs> And Harry and he's dressed is now like he's a signing, newsie? And Harry is signing a poster of himself as a baby. Oh, and Cho Chang just rubbed her wrist all over his face. <laughs> and for some reason, all, all of the students on platform nine and three quarter already just have a synchronized dance ready to go in order if they had Harry Potter, which makes me think that maybe like in previous years, they're like, one day Harry Potter's going to come to the school, so maybe our little dance team should, like, prepare in case we ever see him. And they created, like, a nice little organized thing. I don't know how Ron's a part of it, because he's never been to Hogwarts before. But maybe oh they have... Oh, my God. Maybe it's, like, a, a pre-Hogwarts kids club. It's, it's a pre-Hogwarts dance club. You gotta prepare. Mm-hmm. Is that... Su- Who's the hoe? Which hoe? The one with the short skirt. Oh, in blue? Yeah. That's Cho Chang. That's Cho, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's Rita Skeeter. That's right, because Cho was white. Southern white. Yeah, she's a southern belle. Oh, look, it's uh, Draco. It's That's also Rita, Rita Skeeter. Skeeter. <laughs> I'm like, I know that. <laughs> I've already like recognized the lilt in their voice. What's weird is how much taller the heels like, make, her? make her. So this is combining... I think one, three, and five. What? <laughs> oh, Sirius Black, when he uh, was trying to catch Peter Pettigrew, killed 13 ducks. I'm sorry. Like, I just, I, I'm totally listening and I have no response for that. Why do we know that? It's fair. 
Why was that documented? I I have no idea. <laughs> Everything is awesome for you. You're being groomed to die. Yeah, right? Like a pig for slaughter, you might say. Mary, why do you think you have to prove that you're something great? They already think you're something great. And this is where his arrogance starts. The, all that arrogance that was in the first musical starts here. I mean, wouldn't you, if everyone that you came across was goes, you are amazing Like what I do. You breathe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Darren Chris is so cute. Is that supposed to be Lupin? Sitting uh, on a park bench? Possibly. Person who looks like they're drunk and covered in newspapers. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ron literally has a whole ass space to walk through. Uh-huh. And he's mimicking having no space. Yep. And going through a very long series of complicated security measures in order to get into his train compartment, including a retinal scan. <laughs> okay. I think he's homeless. Gross. Oh, and that's where Ron got his headband. It was from, uh, that he was wearing in the first one. He got it from Harry. That's so sweet. Creepy, but cute. Ah. Cause he never takes it off. <laughs> he's like, do you want a rat? And throws a rat at do it. You want a rat? No. No, I do not. Oh, they My found scabbers found the this- same night. Harry's parents died. Okay. They're eating more red pines. Oh, Crookshanks. Why is Crookshanks in Ron's suitcase? Wait, <laughs> this stuffed cat has a tiger face on it. <laughs> I looked at Hermione for the first time and yelled, Night Troll. I'm not a Night Troll. My name is Hermione Granger. And Ron just looks at it and goes, Ugh. Such accurate representation of Ron. It is. Sign my petition. He doesn't want to. <laughs> Stop talking. Right, it's year one. And she's having them sign a petition for spew. Yep. Alright. And they can't pronounce Hermione. And Ron is feeding Harry red vines. I found out I was a wizard two days ago. The trolley lady! With what looks like Venus flytraps? Because that's what we want to feed our kids. Mm-hmm. Venus flytraps. Why is one of their first descriptions of Alvis Dumbledore the most beautiful wizard that ever lived? He's not. No. Oh, somebody kidnapped the trolley lady. And replaced her with a Death Eater. That's hilarious. Still wearing the Death Eater mask, mind you. <laughs> Lupin just wakes Lupin up just and like... punched a Death physically, Eater. Physically attacked the Death Eater. Just punched him in the face. And broke his wand. And he's Why are drunk. Why betraying Lupin as a drunk? And uh, that pissed himself. <laughs> I was like, oh god, don't touch me. Please don't touch was me. Was I drinking piss? Oh, hi, you're Harry Potter. Shake my hand. He's forcing me. Why is he he's... shoving? Why is Lupin shoving a the beer bottle? bottle into Hermione's <laughs> mouth? What's a Death Eater? Yeah, Lupin's a drunk. Yeah. <laughs> he's cursing it every time he says shit. They just, like, cover their ears. She didn't look scandalized. This is the UK. Uh-huh. Little children start saying fuck when they're, like, four. <laughs> <laughs> and the curtains are walking? Oh, no, it's just Snape. The curtain is Snape. The curtain is Snape. How does Ron know that Snape is evil? He's never been to the Hogwarts school before. <laughs> You must be Harry Harry Potter. Potter. (laughs) Who am I? Oh, hello there. Hello, Harry Potter. (laughs) Sour Sour grapes, Snape. That is that is becoming an image right now. (laughs) Sour grapes, Snape. Yep. Yep. What does a sour grape look like? I'm picturing an image of a grape, a green grape, with just Severus Snape's hair on it. <laughs> I was picturing a purple one. I don't know why. I think aren't sour grapes the green ones though? They're both sweet. Like the green grapes you make white wine, the red grapes like the purple grapes you make red wine. Snape vanish. What are you, a Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Go and find what you're always meant to be. Yeah, what's that? I will say, <clears throat> I've just now realized that people tell Harry that his parents spent the best years of their life in Hogwarts. There's just like nothing like <coughs> telling people their son that they spent the best years of their life directly before they had him. And after everything after that, it just sucks. Just but also, like, what does that say like to Harry? Well, like, he's like, I'm going to have the best years of my life in this school. And every single year he's trying to not get killed. Well, like, it's the same thing with people who just think the best years of their life was in high school. And uh, everything else is downhill from here. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but if your best years of your life were in high school. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, they painted the background to actually look like the original first cover. Oh, hey. I never noticed that before. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. I don't know what to do. Not many people know what to do. That's fair. I don't know what to do at any given moment. Neither do I. I just kind of, I guess, go with it. Yeah. Nothing else I can do. Nope. Oh, Hermione's all got her little uniform on. <laughs> of course she does. She has to be ready. And Ron Fitz Ron's got his... On. uh. Yep. And his rat. His rat. And they're still wearing graduation robes. At least he is. Everybody else is wearing like actual <laughs> like Hogwarts house robes except for him. Yep. Oh, there's a sorting hat. <laughs> Snape just walking by him. <laughs> Holding the sorting hat. Look, <laughs> it's a puppet! <laughs> and he gets sorted into Gryffindor, of course. I think the hat screamed it about four times, going, yeah. Gryffindor! At the top of its lungs, Gryffindor! <laughs> the other fucking kid's head, Gryffindor! <laughs> the scarf of sexual preference. There's the lovely scarf. And the shoes. He was given shoes? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Who are you supposed to be, Mr. Cockney? And one of the kids laid down so that he could use him as a footrest. And, and the Neville other one spit on his shoe for a spit shine. Neville is spit shining his shoe. Ron is massaging, quote unquote, Harry's head. Mm -hmm. I guess to assert that I am the best friend. And Draco's here. Draco. <clears throat> <laughs> Draco's I am a really racist. Like, I am a racist. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'm a racist, and my parents work for the people who killed your parents. Do you want to be my friend? No, I don't. Thanks for the offer, though. <laughs> Draco calls for grabbing Goyle, and one of them just goes, Oh, dis there disturbs my slumber. It's like, all right, creep. Shake and Draco's that. punishment for Ron and Hermione is for them to just be shook. Shake a baby syndrome as what are you doing, Draco? He's sliding around under the benches. Leave him alone. He's Kicking threatening his them into being his friend. <laughs> He's just like, you can torture my friends all you want. I'm not going to be your friend. The iconic moment. The slide. The slide up. No one undermines Draco Malfoy. No, and, and Dumbledore, Dumbledore immediately yells, Draco Malfoy, you little shit. Oh, yeah. Malfoy wears a diaper. Yeah, Draco in this is not potty trained. <laughs> what? I can't! What? I, I'm not going to pretend to know. Your house would be like your family. All right. And you all hate each other. And he's wearing his Adidas slides with socks. Uh -huh. Can I just mention how much I absolutely hate that? <laughs> the, the slides with socks? I don't know why. But I just absolutely like if I if I decide to go out with someone and I find out that they have the Adidas like any kind of slide and they wear them with their socks, I'm just nope, this is any sandals no longer with happening. socks is not acceptable. Put on normal fucking shoes. I don't I just have a visceral dislike for those slides. Mm. That and crocs. Oh, that's fair. Just mm. Like, it is literally a deal breaker for, like, dating. It's like, you wear those? Bye. Mm. Um, I will say they do incorporate a little bit of six here and that there is an astronomy club. <coughs> okay. Lupin's making children cry. Isn't that Snape's job? Uh-huh. 
Oh, he he's transforming into a werewolf and to show that they just put a little patch of fur on his chest. He's got one pop, like one puppet paw. And then just like a little itty bitty patch of fur, just like what looks like just taped to his chest. How you doing, Joe? How you doing, Joe? He, yeah. He's, uh, Dumbledore is also from Jersey. Yeah. He's, he's from like the Jersey Shore. He's from Jersey. Uh-huh. You know this version of Dumbledore since spends even now very wild like spring breaks on the Jersey Shore. Oh my god. This guy goes to Myrtle Beach every spring break just to uh, watch the wet t-shirt contest. Yep. Yeah. And maybe participate. And yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I love I love this guy. And I totally love that him and Snape are a thing. Fair. What is Someone's big on the door. Oh my god, it's Umbridge. It's Umbridge. This Jack oh my dude god. in a dress. Oh, and Dumbledore definitely thinks that Umbridge is hot. I want does uh what's his face? Snape get uh, jealous about that? Well, they're not together at this point. Not yet. Ah, okay. One time a Dementor kissed her and it died. <laughs> it died. And Snape <laughs> prances off. He says, walk this way and pulls a young Frankenstein and just starts running and prancing. He just away. like really just pulls <laughs> his knees up as he does it too. But now arms they've out like he's the and his arms out like he's a zombie. Uh huh. But High now knees. He's, he's removed the boys and the Elmbridge wants to have a conversation with all the girls. Mm, it's not gonna go well. Nope. I haven't seen you since you was a baby. Gryffindor is the house of the good guys. Yep. Gryffindor is the house of the jocks, and the jocks are not necessarily the best. <clears throat> oh, the little scarf of sexual preference. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. There's Umbridge, looking very I kinda, sassy. I was kind of hoping the uh, the dress would be shorter. Is she supposed to be another Southern Belle? I'm not really sure. No, she sounds like she could be from Wisconsin. <laughs> Umbridge likes to think of all of them as her daughters. I would not want to think of Umbridge as my mother. And Umbridge wants you to think of her as your as her mama. Uh-uh. I'm already uncomfortable. Uh-huh. Some very simple rules that must be followed. Uh-huh. What are they? Remember what? No boys. Look at Cho. She's like, huh? Unl- no boys unless they're cute. Rule number two. No alcohol. Unless there's plenty unless to go there's around. Plenty to go around. So Umbridge is no parties nope. unless umbridge unless is invited. invited umbridge is a, is a sorority mom uh-huh, pretty much as long as you <laughs> include <laughs> me <laughs> and we get to do yeah. all the hot gossip do whatever you want <laughs> if he does catch you with any alcohol he's gonna rip your perky little boobs off and cho just goes uh oh or it's the highway the umbridge way the umbridge way and he tried so hard not to like flex and he just yanked someone up by her hair. Yep. And cursed. Human tears are very natural. Okay. So Umbridge used to be bigger, and apparently her mother was like, you're going to get thin. And she started lifting weights. Umbridge I had nothing, ate nothing but protein shakes, falcon eggs, and rocks. <laughs> and lifts anything that she can over her head. <laughs> Hear me smash! Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> Oh my god. The girls are at fucking boot camp. Uh-huh. 500, 500 push-ups, push-ups a, a day. day. I'd be done by like three. Yeah, me too. I'm just getting real weird with Cho. Everyone thinks you're just perfect. That's serial killer look right there. That's a Jeffrey Dahmer look. Oh. Uh. And Cheryl's just like la la in her head and not realizing that Umbridge is behind her going, I'm going to rip your head off. <laughs> Little skanks like her are always going to get whatever they want. God damn. Umbridge has some trauma. They're not your daughters. 
Just because your mother was psychotic does not give you the right to be Real psychotic towards that. Real fucking psychotic. Damn. Look Everything at the size sucks. Of the books that Hermione's carrying. <laughs> it's like ten encyclopedias. Uh-huh. You can't try out for Quidditch. Why the fuck not? Because her parents say that sports are bad, apparently. I mean, they're muggle dentists. What do they know? Mm. Call her Herman. 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 Oh, lovely. We're calling her Herman. Oh, he called her annoying. Not like you can kick me off the field. Now even the teachers are making fun of her. That's just so... Why? They're so mean to her. Why is everyone so mean to Hermione? (laughs) Quidditch, the most ancient and silliest of all wizarding sports. Well, at least someone's being honest. That's fair. (laughs) The other houses of Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Jigglypuff. That's what he said. I heard Ginny. I'm like, Ginny? (laughs) Ginny Puff. Jigglypuff. No one ever remembers poor Tufflepuff. And Remus is like, has anybody ever thrown or caught a ball? And none of them have. Mm-mm. Oh, he has really? some bats. Ron like, hasn't? Crack- like, really? Ron hasn't thrown a ball? This fucker has so many brothers. Uh-huh. He just hands them bats to hit each other with. Everyone's on crack. Uh-huh. Everyone's on fucking crack. Yep. Oh, Remus is having a moment. Aww. Let's let's keep it going, Remus. <laughs> and Harry's like, Remus tells him that he was his dad's best friend, and Harry's like, I thought Sirius Black was. And he's like, No, <laughs> no, it was me. No, 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 that was me. Are you sure? Like, mm. My teacher, my teacher says that Slytherin has it. I wonder if they give the person who, who plays Draco specifically slippery outfits so that she can slide on the floor better. Here, put some oil on the floor and just... Yeah. <laughs> just watch her slide from one end to the other. <laughs> like a slip and slide. Crook shanks again. Oh, you know what I should have done? Uh, I should have named one of the toads in the cave. Trevor. Trevor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he already, he went from living underneath a cupboard to knowing how to play the guitar. I don't think he ever learned how to, I don't think he ever saw a guitar. Because the dirty sure as shit would not have let him. That's very true. (laughs) Draco trying to get Harry's into Potter. Hey, Potter! Then looking away, like, Potter! Oh, he, he made a drawing of Harry. And Getting hit quick. by a quaffle or a beater, bludger. Sorry. <laughs> Look, that's me on my little broom, going ha ha ha. Pay special attention to the shading of this crayon drawing of your sweater. I did a pretty good job. Bravo, Draco. Is he sitting on him? No, mostly not. And he takes it back. I think it's one of the best drawings I've ever done. And Harry's like, I'm so confused. Oh, he ripped it. Goyle, okay. The super tall one is Goyle. Yeah. Got it. (laughs) You like it? (laughs) So Draco has just said that um, he's going to tell on Harry for ripping his photo that he drew. And when he does, that uh, Lucius Malfoy is going to say, Draco, you... My father will hear about this. And Lucius will say, Draco, you goddamn piece of shit. And he's going to slap the shit out of him and then pull down his diaper. That's what he, that's right. Because he has a fucking diaper on. Uh-huh. Ooh, Hermione just said the drawing wasn't very good. Ooh. And Draco is spinning. Ooh. Ooh. And he calls it the M word. And Ron agrees. Ron, you and they're all harassing shit. Hermione now. And now they're singing about it. Wow, the only time Slytherins and Gryffindors will ever agree is just to make fun of Hermione. Why are they like this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why? Why? 
And Remus didn't like the fact that they started making fun of him, so he redirected it back at Hermione. I'm so... Even Snape is on board. Ron, don't you have somewhere else to be? Ugh. Hermione just threw a cat out a window. <laughs> Poor Crookshanks, he doesn't deserve that. Hermione's like, I'm the smartest person I've ever met. You don't say, Hermione. Tech- ne- technically, I think uh, Dumbledore is smart- smarter than her. I don't know. Dumbledore pretty stupid. At least this version of Dumbledore is pretty stupid. Oh, she's believing in herself. Good girl, Hermione. You go. Yeah. Who gives a shit if you, you can't draw? <laughs> you are the actual smartest person you've ever met. So, oh, Her- Hermione's thinking about ruling everyone. About fooling everyone. I mean, yes. Go hype yourself up. Yeah. Got a whole song about hyping herself up, man. Like, you go, girl. Hermione's grooving. And she's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. So Draco is afraid of the toilet and he doesn't want to touch it. So he's found that if he climbs on top of it and holds onto the top of the stall, he doesn't actually have to touch it. And you can look over at the different stalls. Draco, what kind of issues do we have at home? Simply squat. And even though he's in the bathroom, he's still using the diaper. I don't... And the diaper just simply falls into the potty. Yep. Uh, what? Oh, I'm gonna just dress for a day out to Hogsmeade. So much pink plaid. Mm-hmm. Are you from Hogsmeade? I'm from Hogsmeade. Welcome to Hogsmeade. He's like, no, I'm I'm Harry Potter. I can just go. And Bumper's like, uh, nope. And Bumper's <laughs> like, excuse me. Bumper's just laugh is so weird. It's Harry freaking Pettit! You! You sign my boobs! How about no? I'm just threatening to break all of his fingers. It's like, if what happens if I break your little fingers and you can't play the guitar anymore? Umbridge! Umbridge is giving me serious, like, serial killer vibes. Oh, absolutely. Unhinged. Two T. <laughs> like, a different kind of unhinged from the one that was in the film. Slash books. Uh-huh. Umbridge is literally like your boot camp leader. It's literally what she is. Oh, Neville is, Neville is delivering a bouquet of flowers that was uh, meant for Umbridge. From who? Put them on the he's ground and back Neville away. Put them on the ground and then back away. And he's threatening all of the students with a knife. Crouching. They don't seem explosive. <laughs> they smell absolutely delightful. They're snap dragons. Oh. That none of them are snapdragons. Not a single one. <laughs> and because you're the floral person, you would know. Those are what? They're daisies. They're daisies. Daisies. Oh my god. <laughs> you're telling me to sit on a knife? <laughs> what is happening? What? You concern me so much. Who? Umbridge. Yeah. And Ron's like, I'll tell you about it. Bye. Oh, Draco's also behind beneath my dignity. Bullshit! Oh, Draco's gonna write a letter to his dad with crayon. Dear Papa, <laughs> Draco, you are not this sentimental of a person. Just because, like, think, it's like, hey, you forgot to sign my permission slip, but hey, at the same time, it gives me more of an excuse to write to you, be closer to you. It's like, please send me my Hogsmeade form back that I sent you ages ago. Please stop ignoring me. And Draco letting him know that he's mastered the use of the potty. Developments. Sorry for my tardiness. I was just learning how learning to use, how to use the, potty. the potty. Oh, Draco. Oh, oh, Draco, baby. You can feel free to write me anytime. I am your son. <laughs> Tell Mama to bugger <laughs> off. Oh, there's an owl. Oh, my God. A snowy owl. Oh, oh, Draco's so sad. His dad doesn't write to him. Do you want a Toys R Us catalog? A Toys R Us catalog. Oh, the owl has to comfort Draco. Sure they do. Hedwig! Yeah, who has never met Harry and can talk. But visits Draco. Okay. Uh-huh. And hugs Draco. Okay. Lupin being super creepy. Lupin's just... 
Lupin's a school drunk. Yeah. Feast your eyes on this. The Marauder's Map. <sighs> it was me, your dad, some other guy. And Sirius Black. I am your, I am your dad's best friend. I'm your dad's traitor best friend. <laughs> I gotta go by. Love it, love it. I don't want to love it. <laughs> Just a vague warning of don't get killed by Sirius Black while you're at Hogsmeade. But Umbridge has a secret admirer. And of course it's Dumbledore. Oh, of course it is. You sent me Snapdragon, didn't you? The traditional welcome to Hogwarts body shot. Who? I want to know who came up with that. Doing sh body shots off of Dumbledore? Ew. You can't get that image out of your head. That's going to live there forever. <laughs> if I knew that there was going to be a tradition of body shots on your first trip to Hogsmeade, I'd... Never set foot in Hogsmeade. Ever. I would find a way to get... No, i just fucking lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, for... I would, like, at the very last second, if I couldn't think of anything else, I'd just punch another student in the face in front of all of the faculty and get, like, detention for a year. You've been to, Ho been to Hogsmeade before, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> As a test, what's your favorite shop? Zonko's. Done. Bye. There you <laughs> like, go. Come on. Two body shots now. There's a hidden swimming pool. I think Dumbledore's offering drugs. Dumbledore was, I don't think, was ever right in the head. I mean, even oh, based fair. in the movies, like. Oh, Dumbledore just smacked Dumbledore's just ass. And now they're playing There's patty cake. I never thought I'd say. I never, ever thought I would utter the sentence, Dumbledore smacked Umbridge's ass. And Umbridge <laughs> picked up Dumbledore mid-dance. So far, I'm liking Voldemort a lot more than Umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dumbledore and Umbridge are flirting via song. Oh, oh. so much touching. We're both just getting along. Please don't be stuck in my head. Please don't be stuck in my head. Please don't be stuck in my head. No, oh, it'll be stuck in your head. I'm gonna text you lyrics from that. And you thought I was on crack last night when I texted you guys those lyrics. Yeah, I still had there was zero context <laughs> to that, and I'm still not clear as to what was happening. <laughs> I was in line at In and Out for the drive through. Uh -huh. waiting to like pay for my order and pick it up and i'm just rocking out to like a bunch of my uh my folk songs and that was one of them yeah there was no context for understanding i sent that. you a picture you of the me? song yeah like i think you sent that after the yes. lyrics <laughs> there was no context because i'm reading this i'm like is she having a fucking stroke <laughs> Is it in our blend? I think it is. We made a personalized playlist. My time capsule. Okay. I'll listen to you later. Uh, Sirius Black was in a storm drain dressed as a clown. Aaron! It is in our playlist. Lovely. That one. Where my finger is. Huh, yeah. Okay. It's so fun and bouncy and Irish. I love it. Sirius Black, dressed as a clown, lured a kid into a sewer and bit his head off. When did Sirius Black become Pennywise? I I don't know. Y'all ever heard of the Shriek and Shack? Cho. I'm not supposed to talk like that. The Shriek and Shack is haunted. Damn. Why would you check out a haunted place knowing full well that, like, ghosts and, like, Creepy magical creatures are real. Yeah. Cho offers a kiss to whoever's brave enough to go over and ring the doorbell of the Shrieking Shack and her mighty volunteers. Of all people. Of all people. Ooh. Ooh. Well, what's better than a kiss from Cho Chang? Cho carrying your books all semester. Yeah. And draws a picture of the monster. They give Hermione a pad of paper and a pencil. Oh. 
Her men, her men, nobody knows how to say Hermione's name. It's not that hard. Literally, Joe's singing about how nobody cares whether or not Hermione lives or dies. That's just mean, Herman. Can we please stop calling her Herman? Right. So instead of fighting a troll, they have to go save Hermione from the shrieking shack and Ramus. Well, I see Hermione. Okay, there's Ron. Where did Ron get a flashlight from? Where did Harry get a pink backpack? He sacked it from Umbridge's room. Probably. <laughs> they Man- really don't know her name. I mean, he just called her Humana. <laughs> they saw her and scream. Oh, they figured out that uh, Lupin's brooch is on the floor. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh. There's a big... Uh, it's a werewolf! That's a werewolf. I don't think any of them shouted werewolf. I think they shouted various magical creatures that are not werewolves. <laughs> Crookshanks is eating Harry. <laughs> and now Harry's threatening the werewolf with Crookshanks. They threw Crookshanks to distract Lupin. Ah, uh, All sorts of creepy creatures live in the Forbidden Forest. Yeah. Like, I can't believe it. Going from the scariest place in the world to the scariest place in the world. And we just fell to the floor. As Ron immediately grabs under- for his red vines because we cannot go five seconds without a snack. Exactly. Good lord. Um, Hermano? That's Hermione's new name? Hermano. Hermano! No. <laughs> Hermione's just like, I thought maybe if once I did something crazy, you guys would like me. And Ron's like, well, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're not our friend! Oof. So mean. Really? You don't have to be pretend to be someone you're not for people to like you? Harry, you're doing exactly that. Exactly. <laughs> you have no idea exactly what it means to that. be the chosen one. He's like, yeah, sure, it's me. Yep. Stupid. And he's just like, I think I'm something called a douchebag. Douchebag. Yes, yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, you are. It's cool to be a douchebag, is what he's saying? Apparently. No, honey. It's it's really not. Ron just called Snape cool. The only thing cool about Snape is his robes. Fair. That is the only thing that is cool about that man. True. The rest is just creepy. Just something in life you can't go through. Well, okay. Did you miss Ron poking at Hermione's boobs? Yes. Are those two- Oh that my god. <laughs> It's just a dude with a fake stuffed horse's ass attached to his ass. He has a stuffed toy horse attached to his butt. He's got half of a Pegasus on his ass. Uh huh. Who did he play in the first one? I think that's Goyle. That's Goyle. Oh my god. I think so. This is embar- This is the secondhand embarrassment for this is real. Uh-huh. <laughs> The furry boots or something else. Oh, he's approaching the horse from behind. <laughs> and Ron is just petting him down the back. And the horse goes, yes. That's, that's, that's. Okay. I have no words. Uh-oh. Ron, what are you doing? Ron, stop touching his butt. Stop touching his tail. They often look for human mates, but none survive. <laughs> I don't think I could survive being trampled by a centaur during mating. No. So. And I would not want to mate a centaur. <laughs> Bro! Rod is fucking on the floor trying to find this thing's dick. <laughs> Stop. No. I don't want to listen. Uh-uh. I don't want to listen to you talk about such things. They fly away. They fly away. You will forever be disgraced as eternal weenies. Yup. Oh, look, there's Lupin. Lupin looks like he just got... Okay, so he's asleep on top of the carcass of a deer. And I'm guessing he ate. But he looks like he went on a hard bender with alcohol the night before and doesn't know where the fuck he is. Yeah, he is fully in his underwear. What is this? (laughs) Excited for a nice game of Quidditch. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> like, sure. This is how we celebrate. And naked. There's a dead doe, you're covered in blood, and you're naked. Why? It's tradition! What is tradition, Lupin? 
gain the power by killing and- the dough. They by killing the dough before the Quidditch match, they gain the power and ferocity of the dough. Uh, oh, he's horse feeding Neville the dough. And I quote, "Damn, Rita Skeeter is not holding back. I mean, she doesn't in the books either, but still, nope. yeah, I am starstruck." Rita, excuse me. Do not slap the children on the on the butt. That's so creepy, Rita. And you are already really creepy. So after the uh, obligatory first time to Hogsmeade body shot, Umbridge goes back with, Home Dumbledore, with Dumbledore. And then once she takes off her hideous outfit, uh, he got freaked out by the fact that Umbridge was in fact a woman and disapparated after screaming at her, seeing her naked. Because that's going to make for a really nice umbrage. How did you fr- not realize that was a woman? I mean, it's it's Dumbledore. Okay. You, Hey, Dumby, you have to... <laughs> you have to expel Tom Riddle from Hogwarts. Because he's evil. And I told him to stop it. And that's what happened. And it's like, it eventually worked out. Oh, Umbridge is texting Dumbledore on a razor phone. And Snape has a Blackberry, and she be- and Umbridge BBM'd uh-huh. him. To see if Dumbledore was with him. Oh my god. Dumbledore's like, did you get my text? But you didn't text me back. Oh, Umbridge loves Dumbledore, and Dumbledore is screaming. This is adorable, but also so terrifying. But horrifying. Yes. Absolutely horrifying. Oh, Umbridge is trying to murder Snape. Someone, ooh. Oh, she's choking him. <laughs> He's the only man who loves me. Like, Umbridge. Dumbledore is not in. Umbridge it. is a total serial killer. Like, she cannot let go of being able uh-huh. to share Dumby with anybody else. Dumbledore's like, I only liked you because I thought you were a man. Oh, Umbridge is. Oh. I'm sorry I went around town telling everyone our sexual history. What part of that is funny? Uh Uh-oh. Umbridge is crying. Remember, Umbridge, tears are human. Aw, you broke her! Are you crying? No. You're not laughing at Umbridge. Oh. Oh, Oh, oh my god. (laughs) She turned Hulk. She turned Hulk. <laughs> She's gonna grind his bones into bread and take everything he ever was, starting with his job. Okay. Hello, this Lucius. time traveling adventure. You'd be. T- I assumed you'd be too busy attending any games this year. Look at those legs. Uh huh. It's like it's okay. I've made some last minute replacements to the uh, Slytherin team. It's fine. With these <laughs> these Death Eaters. It's fine. He looks at them and is like, now boys, and one of them is Molly Weasley. <laughs> it's in my daddy. Oh, you came so to love me. me. Aww. Oh, I drew you a picture, Dad. Thank you, Draco. Oh, this- oh the Death Eaters are proud of Draco. You know, the dra- the Death Eaters are all happy and, like, praising him. This is... Well, he just gave away Draco's painting. Not even surprised. He's- Do you see the legwork that's happening here? <laughs> Instead of gesturing at Jacob- Draco with his arms, he gestures with his feet. He starts to sing start to have a song and they just... Dance fades out. Life. No, you're not singing. Oh my god, it's such a jock show. Uh huh. It's pitch perfect. It's the it's the uh-huh. yeah. The Slytherins are just like huddle like s- and swaying, and the Griffin are just like and bouncing with their brooms towards them. I don't think they do any actual flying in in Quidditch in this world. I think they just do dance battles. I love how they're all wearing Death Eater masks. Uh huh. Some decent acrobatics. All right. Yeah. Slytherin has the ball. They score their first point. Ten points for Slytherin. Just beating everybody. And one of the Death Eaters is just beating the shit out of people. 
Draco stole the ball. Another point for Slytherin. And Slytherin wins the first round. Hedwig's bag. <laughs> Package for Harry Potter. I can take it. No, no, Hedwig. No. Hedwig just gave Harry's package to Lucius Malfoy. A broom. This package, bel- mm, it's one package you won't be getting. It's such an innuendo. <laughs> Way to go, Hermione. Jelly legs. Jelly string legs. He cursed Lucius and then stole the broom. And why is Lupin still naked? Lupin, you need to change fucking clothes. You need to put some clothes on. You're not allowed to get up. <clears throat> he got a Nimbus tooth. Oh, a fireball. We'll just skip over the Nimbus. Fuck the Nimbus. Even wizard god himself can't follow. I highly doubt that. Uh-huh. And now we're flirting with Ron. <laughs> oh my he gives me- yeah, I have to put his broom down. <laughs> wow, that's so awkward. I hmm. Again, I commend theater majors. It could never be me. No, me neither. Cannot. Harry just slaps people with the new broom he just got. He's not really flying anywhere. Just slapping people. Can't. Can't do it. Now they're all going in slow motion. Oh, Draco knocked out the Death Eater that was I love how someone's Harry. holding the snitch like it's in motion. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're pretending to be my mage hand. (laughs) (laughs) Is this supposed to be in slow-mo? Yeah. Now, how are you going to get that snitch in your mouth? He got the snitch. I love how Rita Skeeter is the one announcing it. And Lupin is... uh, Lupin slapping himself. And making a fart noise. Slytherin's retreat. Your best, your father would be so proud of you. Even Sirius Black? And then Lupin tries to strangle him. Miss the Lupin. Ow. Gryffindor win in the last 14 years. Uh-huh. And Lupin gets the credit. I'm sorry. I have an issue with that because Bing ha- takes all the credit because I love him. Wood. Uh-huh. I love Oliver Wood. He ate one of the every flavor beans and is now losing his shit. Why does it taste like this? Because maybe it was silver flavored? I just ate oh. shit. I would have caught it if Yaxley hadn't fallen into my path. Yeah, Death Eaters lift Lucius up and fling him forward. Uh-oh. As he pirouettes away. Lucius oh no, he's gonna take his drawing and Draco bri- oh. He crumbles it up. Such mean. And he throws it at his kid. What mean? <gasps> and he says he's not. Draco's not his son. Y'all are just so oh. mean. Draco looks so sad. Like- Poor Draco. Oh, Hermione got them a Christmas Aww. gift. Uh, it's not a puppy. It's a book. <laughs> it's a book. Just what they wanted. They just throw it on the floor. Aww. Oh, she made them a scrapbook. Ramus Lupin eats shit. <laughs> and Gryffindor wins. And Ron kisses Harry on the cheek. Mm. That's you. No shit. Like, I want to find Harry and kill him. I don't think he wants to do that. Snape comes running in, screaming that Sirius Black was here, and and then weeps against Ron. Who weeps? He weeps. Oh my god, I figured it out. What? Who he reminds me of. Who? One of my mom's best friends. <laughs> okay. He's got the same hair. <laughs> same black hair. I'm gonna throw everything I have at him, and that includes Lumos. And Alohomora. You're gonna unlock Sirius Black. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Unlock his pants? Harry, he's your godfather. Now they're in the forbidden corridor ish. Oh, it's the mirror. It shows you what you want. It's me. And I'm I'm a head boy. You don't see my parents? Oh. 
Hermione in the mirror uh, sees herself turning into Cho Chang. You want that to happen? No, oh, they're serious. Oh, Aloha, oh, what is that gonna do? And even Siri's like, the fuck, dude? <laughs> Unjellify. He unjellified himself. Oh, he's from New York. He did try to murder Snape. He's like, I never tried to kill anybody. He's like, you did try to murder Snape. Like, let's let's be honest here. Let's be honest. I was rotting away in my prison cell. There's a tool you can use to sneak out. Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore sent Snape or Sirius the means to escape. Oh, he was sent him the invisibility cloak. And we would solve mysteries and shit, but mostly to prank Snape. Yeah. On such a blissful idiot. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. It's a good thing my package made it to you on time. Mm-hmm. Aloha ma. They put Snape into the invisibility cloak. For aiding and abetting? Yeah. You did be fun. Like Snape a butt trumpet. I am here, Night Troll. Oh, wow. That's so mean. And Umbridge is here. The invisibility cloak has a, a tag with Harry's name on it. Umbridge is trying to take them to Azkaban. Umbridge! Umbridge got issues. Oh, Umbridge wants to offer a deal. Oh, you either kiss the Dementors or you kiss me. Oh, yeah. oh. Gion! Oh no. Mm. Humbridge Smash! Humbridge. Humbridge is the headmaster now. That's. I know that they weren't planning on making a second one, and it's not the best, because I'm definitely liking the first one a lot more, but this is still ridiculous. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's bullshit. Serious? Serious black. black. Awful. It's awful. You. I don't know how to feel about them using that word. Awful. Oh no, Cho, what will you do? They ca- She canceled the annual dance. The annual feel her up dance. She's a ho. Goyle sounds like. Goyle sounds like a gargoyle. Pretty much. Goyle a gargoyle. Yeah. He needs chamomile before his slumber. Uh huh. She wants us to eat each other to survive. To be fair, that is probably what Umbridge wants. Dumbledore's on the run. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Do you want he red vines? Do you want a red vine? I don't want a red vine, Ronald. And Lupin's back, being a creep. It's he's dressed this time now. Which is an improvement. The person that is portraying Lupin, I feel like, would have been a very good doppelganger for Oliver Wood. Uh-huh. That's fair. <laughs> and it's very, very true. Same facial structure mm-hmm. and haircut. Let me teach you a spell that can lure off a, a, a Dementor, but you gotta think of your happiest memory. Hmm. Sir, I'm Harry Potter. I don't have happy memories. That's very true. <laughs> Oh my god, they did the Peter Pan thing! Any Uh happy little thought? (laughs) What makes Cho happy? Getting banged, probably. There you go. Her happy memory is thinking of the feel em up dance where all the boys are touching her. (laughs) You, sir, are an ass. I mean, it is Umbridge. I know. Still refers to Dementors as ring rates. It's a candy bean that tasted of shit. Ooh, we fired Lupin. You know what would have been really funny? Is if Umbridge had been at the school to, like, just monitor and not so much of, like, teach anything. Mm-hmm. And she would have been there in Harry's fourth year instead. Imagine Umbridge and Mad Eye Moody. Like, I would love to see that. I would love to see that because I'm she sure would that Mad Eye would survive. Mad Eye, aka uh, Barty Crouch, Crouch Jr., Jr. would 
he'd be practicing turning people into animals on her. Mm-hmm. I can't. A paddle. Umbridge has a paddle with knives on it. That says love ha- love hand. Mama's little love hand. That's got nails on the edges. Yo. <laughs> Sniff such down the evil like torture device with a feather. <laughs> See, when, when, oh, even, even, when Snape, even when Snape goes, that's not that's not okay. Yeah. When <laughs> Snape, even Snape is just like, mm, no, that's <laughs> not cool. You know you wrong. It's like I, I he's like he, he's like, I'm at least in the field of being able to get away with it. Yeah. This it's like that's just no. <laughs> oh, and now Umbridge has Hermione in a headlock. <laughs> See myself at like, your age. Hermione, I see myself in you when I was your age. Hermione's like, oh god. They oh my god, Umbridge <laughs> has issues. You're the one that's ugly, not me. No, please do not suck anyone up your womb. No, do not do that, Umbridge. Lift up your skirt and tell your mama you love her till it bleeds. Uh-huh. Damn! Shit got dark. And even Snape is standing up for them. And it's just like, oh, okay. Let's go to the dungeon. And was like, yes, please. <laughs> and Umbridge is like, have you gotten any letters yet? What's the trumpet for? What oh, trumpet? butt trumpet. Just can't decide which trumpet. I'm a teacher. You can't hurt me. Watch me. <laughs> That's a creepy face. <laughs> Oh! 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 Umbridge broke her own finger. Like, I know he didn't actually break his finger, but the timing with the snap and the sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Lupin, have you been drinking this whole minute? Yes. You were always my. Why? Because he was drunk? (laughs) Aloha Mora to his flask because he can't get it open. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. You sure about that? He's not a traitor. <laughs> Harry hands in the Marauder's Map back, and Lupin's like, "Yeah, I guess I'll use it as a blanket or a house." When did Lupin become such a drunken psycho? Yeah, I'm just a Team Jacob fan. I'm Team Dumbledore. Tell Scarfy I love him, and there's a. Taylor Lautner, what's that? People magazine, the Rolling Stones cover. Uh huh. On his on her wall. Do you know the name of this guy that's playing Umbridge? Uh, not off the top of my head. I can pull it up for you though. Okay. I'm not allowed to eat cheesecake. You're a grown ass woman. You can do whatever the fuck you want with food. Mm-hmm. Dolores. Dolores. So Umbridge's mom's spirit is here, telling her to put down that cheesecake. She's got about 12 curlers on the front of her hair. Uh Uh-huh. She can barely stand up. Yep. Uh, His name is Joe Walker. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You listen. (laughs) She's got no fucking tear. So the ghost of Umbridge's mom is giving her really weird, bizarre ideas of what to do to these kids. Didn't she say at one point to treat them with kindness or with love? Yeah, but like in a psychotic way. I mean, that's that's fair. How do I kill the children, mama? Umbridge has an axe. I don't, he does, she, sorry, does not remember sharpening an axe all day, but it's still there. Yep. My boyfriend, Dumbledore. You make me some grandbabies and we straighten them out too. Imagine being the child of this version of Umbridge and Dumbledore. No, I don't like that. (laughs) I don't, I don't like that. You're like, no thanks. Where did the poster of Headmaster Zephron go? What do you want, you horrid beast? 
gee, I wonder why they won't let you discipline the children. I'm so not like you wanted to beat them with a paddle full of knives or right? nails. Oh, no, that's that's fine. Don't give me Malfoy is aggressively ballet dancing. Malfoy, what are you doing? Uh why 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 <laughs> does Lucius want Harry Potter to be alone. I don't know. I'm getting real creepy vibes. Uh-huh. Umbridge is obsessed. Uh huh. With Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Fully believes they're dating. If anyone were to report this to the ministry, who in their right mind is going to report this to the ministry? You're Snape. You're staring at Lucius Malfoy and Umbridge. Like, first of all, Umbridge is pretty much the Ministry of Magic. And Lucius Malfoy owns most of the Ministry of Magic, I imagine. He's got a lot of pull. Mm-hmm. So I don't know about the Ministry, but he's definitely got a lot of pull in the, um, the board for Hogwarts. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, we're using the Pensieve. Why? Lily. Ah. Uh, and James. James looks like he's high. Pretty much. Oh, we're we're stripping Severus. Okay, we're going back in time, that's why. Because I was like, why is Lucius taking off his robe? It's more the fact he exists. I'll go on a date if... I'll leave him alone if you go on a date with me. She's like, you're such an asshole, but you're so charming. That's... Mm, again, with the enemies to lovers thing, like... Uh, I do... It does irritate me that... Lily literally threw five years of friendship away, you know, like over him, over James. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who had done nothing but pester her and follow her around and be really creepy with her. And in one moment, like she just throws away all of her friendship with Snape. But daddy, I love him. Oh. All right, little mermaid. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> Sleeping beauty. Beauty and the Beast. This lovely montage. This lovely duet between uh, Malfoy and Snape. I still ship Dumbledore and Snape as a couple. From the Here, first one. yeah. And Coral and Voldemort. Coral and Voldemort is like Endgame for the very Potter musical universe. That is Endgame. They are definitely OTP. <laughs> Mondo bummer. What? Why? I'm just I'm just a whole bunch of why today. Just What's up? I'm just a whole bunch of why today. Like why is Ron Cowabunga surfs up, bruh? I mean his mom is from New Jersey. Maybe he learned it during spring break. <laughs> Getting eggs from the meanest, angriest owls. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> She Umbridge kind of reminds me of uh Regina from Mean Girls. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely some Regina vibes. <laughs> Why does everybody want to meet Harry alone? Umbridge smash. <laughs> Sane and reasonable are not words I've ever attributed to Umbridge. Especially no, the reasonable part. Definitely not sane nor reasonable. And Snape is just sitting in a corner drinking. Mm, Snape is drunk. Very. Gotta go to Umbridge's office. Can you wait? Sit down or I'll expel you. They're drinking. I What? And Snape just handed the child a bunch of alcohol. It's butterbeer. Okay. But still. <laughs> I hate you, Potter. It's like, well, the thing is, Potter, I hate you. So, this is why... I'm glad I never get smashed or drunk because Snape is now just pouring his heart out to the child of his enemy mm-hmm. and the woman he pines for. Yes. Even though she's dead. Like a creepy, creepy stalker man. He's like, James was like this and your mom was like that. And he's, been, he's just like, I, what do you want from me? Yep. Snape tried to save him technically in a really weird way. It's me, HP. They're cleaning the owlery with a toothbrush. With a toothbrush. 
Ron's got more red vines. And he's giving some to Hermione. And she immediately turns him down. We're both ugly, we're both bossy. And nobody likes us. <laughs> he's using the argument that Hermione and Umbridge aren't the same by comparing Spider-Man and Venom. <laughs> and Iron Man was just so mean to him. Spider-Man's so full of love. Aww. Ron being sweet for once. As he's just now staring at Hermione's tits. Mm-hmm. Second favorite superhero. What'd you get, Hermione? What'd you get? Thanks, Hedwig. You missed a spot. Little D doesn't stand. Little, little Draco! <laughs> it's Draco! It's little Draco! Yes, yes, we know it stands for your little wiener. The cur- the Draco you know is currently bedridden. I think this one's from the future. The first one goes, Mary Potter musical one is going to Mars. Uh-huh. This one is, go- is from the future. Makes sense. <clears throat> oh, this is the Draco that's in love with Hermione. So is the one in the first one. Yeah, that's the one that traveled back in time uh, to okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I stowed away in my father's fanny pack. I don't like that. <laughs> well, so Draco, like, uh, actually orchestrated... A serious black escaping and a bunch of other stuff. Hiding amongst the centaurs. If, and the centaurs have been worshipping him as a god. The space-time continuum. Right, no <laughs> ulterior motives other than Hermione. As he puts his arm around Hermione and then stares at Ron. <laughs> Ron's face in the back. <laughs> Draco just like what? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh boy, I'm an older, more mature man, which is why she likes me. <clears throat> She's like, well, if that didn't make you jealous, maybe this will. A it's crayon a cray- drawing of Hermione and Draco's wedding on Mars being officiated uh, by Rumble Roar. I was to say, is that Rumble Roar? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, you don't get her in the future. In the future, you don't get her. Has uh, has Draco from the future learned how to use the potty without a uh, diaper? I believe so, yes. Okay, okay. Hopefully. For everyone involved. You say that. Mm-hmm. You gotta do that stiff arm movement. You're... And they all, the Death Eaters start dancing. <laughs> We're just texting Lucius. Oh, you could say hi to your parents. Oh, a knuckle sandwich. Holding Draco hostage. Daddy! Yes, he would. Really torture your own son. <laughs> yes. And now Snape comes in and just bat bogey hexes everybody. Oh, Draco stole the time turner. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> let the last trace of Lily Evans get destroyed. Technically, wouldn't the last trace be like Petunia or even Dudley? That's mm. it's an unfortunate truth. <laughs> Ron didn't so take the uh, Taylor Lautner poster. This is Draco from the future. Malfoy just prances. Malfoy! Lucius is literally just like the spirit of a horse. Uh-huh. Oh, magic! Why was it that the most basic unlocking spell was what freed Sirius Black, a criminal who comes from a, an ancient house of magic who might have been able to just, like, cast Lohamora wandlessly. Also, he's an animagus. I know that his form is a wolf, but he's a master at transfiguration. Mm-hmm. Can he turn himself into, like, an ant and just... Out we go. I don't know if... I've never... There's never any instances in the book when you turn yourself into something that's not Animagus or Polyjuice. Hmm. So I don't know if you can do that to yourself. Or if they uh, they can, then, you know, Hermione, or Hermione, Harry is an idiot, so he wouldn't know. So You can't have more than two friends? Bitch, watch me! I have more <laughs> than two friends! I have three. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, Lupin? Ooh. Fight me, Lupin. Yeah, let's go. Fight me. Not Peter Pettigrew. Yes, you are. <laughs> like, Peter Pettigrew's name is on top of Ron's, and Ron looks up. 
He must have magicked himself into a rat. They stomp Pettigrew while he's a rat. I mean, it's brutal, but it would work 100% better than just tying him up <laughs> and then forgetting about him and just letting him go. The map is never wrong. Oh no, the Taylor Laudner poster! The Taylor Laudner poster! <laughs> I'm gonna drunken kill you. Peter's animagus form is a Taylor Lautner poster. That's, that's very unfortunate. Yes, it is. How about you go look like a human being? <laughs> and Draco's like, you know what? Instead of like weird revenge or murdering a bunch of us, why don't you just go to jail? Everything tastes better with red vines. Every time I get a red vine when I'm at the theaters, I'm so disappointed because every time I bite into it, I'm like, cherry Twizzlers. Yeah. No, I don't like strawberry Twizzlers. I like the cherry Twizzlers, specifically the pull apart ones. Yeah. And Ron is just trying to feed Pe Pettigrew a Twizzler. He Pettigrew looks wet. Red vines can also act as a wand, apparently. And Ron stupefied Peter Pettigrew in the mouth. Lupin <laughs> just randomly crucioing people. See, Ron was trying to do- Ron did what I was trying to do. He's trying to put a, a red vines in his mouth, and I'm trying to put a fish in an elf's mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. <laughs> First of all, the frog was being trained by the elf and was friendly with the elf. Would you, if somebody took, I don't know, a Starbucks iced coffee and tried to shove it in Aaron's mouth, would you attack Aaron to get it? Answer the question. Answer it. I want Aaron to hear this. Tell me. <laughs> for a uh, tag Aaron for an iced coffee if an invisible hand tried to shove it in your mouth. Huh? Is that because that is essentially what you were trying to do? <laughs> that is like, let's clear this shit up. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna keep talking about. <laughs> right here, right now. That's your example. Would you attack Aaron with your tongue in order to get the iced coffee an invisible hand is trying to shove in her mouth? Let's go. Answer the question. You have yet to answer. Let's I wouldn't it. technically attack Eric, but I would try and get the iced coffee to get away from her. You wouldn't <laughs> technically attack Aaron. <laughs> really? But I um, would try and get the coffee away from her because clearly it's trying to be attacking her. Mm hmm. So <laughs> you are aware that you would not attack Aaron if somebody tried to shove and you would help. <laughs> Aaron, because Aaron is your friend. Are we on the same page? Okay. Okay. This is why the toad didn't attack its friend when you tried to shove a fish in its face. We're on the same page? Yeah? But it's a toad! It's food motivated. It's capable of thought, considering it's capable. Like, look. If you had if somebody took a fish and tried to shove it in your mouth you think when your cats would claw your face off <laughs> um which cat because fair i know statement. a few that would go straight for the food no matter where it is fair statement i'll give you that one cat was a bad example <laughs> Dogs are more loyal than that so it's an intelligent enough frog to know who it's like person who's been feeding it is I'll stop bringing up the fish. You don't have to stop bringing up the fish. I just want you to make sure you understand why it did not go well. You can bring up the fish every fucking day for the rest of both of our lives if you would like to, but I want you to understand why besides the fact that I believe you rolled a five and a four that it did not succeed. 
Yes, I rolled pretty low. Yes, you rolled very low both times, and then, uh, you yeah that yeah yeah okay. I hope and Aaron, chaos ensued. I really hope Erin listens to this part. It's just, <coughs> oh, she will. The funny thing is, this is not going to come out for quite a while until like December, <laughs> and like we're going to forget about it, and then Erin's just going to text us like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> She's make the fucking fish. Oh, I have Lupin's the same sound effect. Yeah. Lupin's attacking the group. Like the one that chased us on Halloween. Oh, Umbridge jumps out of the bushes. Harry, look, it's Dumbledore. Dumbledore's back! <coughs> Dumbledore, did you get my texts? All nine. I got all texts. 900 of them. So many text messages. Chillies? These are my chillings. Chillings. Dumbledore, why are you being such a bad boyfriend? Don't you get it? I don't like you. Oh, she just broke Dumbledore's wand. The poor. Oh. <clears throat> it's too late. Oh. oh. Umbridge is getting down. Umbridge is belting it out. I want to know if Voldemort slash Umbridge's kids. If if they have kids, <laughs> if they've seen this, have been introduced to their father's theater days, and if I they hope so, I truly do. I really hope that they just go like, "Dad, I want you to dress up as Umbridge for Halloween." Honestly, I yeah, like if that was my dad, I'd be like, "Ted, you have to dress up as Umbridge for every Halloween," and I'd make the mom dress up as Dumbledore. <laughs> it's like I don't like you. Go away. Dumbledore's just getting jiggy with it. Like, shit. Ooh, look at that dancing. See, I can be this goofy just within my friend group. While we're in public, I can do this kind of shit at Disneyland and it's just the four of us in line. Yeah. Not in front of an audience that big. Like, granted, yeah. we're in Disneyland and everyone and their mother can see, hear, listen, whatever. Yeah, but it's different when you're performing for an audience. You were never my lover. Dumbledore's just taking her groove back. She's getting, she's taking her girlies back. Oh, the mentors are killing oh, Harry. Oh, the are attacking Harry. Look at those big hands. That's so creepy. A couple of years ago, Jess and I went to go see um, Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. At the Hollywood Bowl where they had like the LA Harmonic um, doing the, uh, you know, the live orchestra while the movie's playing. Mm -hmm. And Jessica built like a last minute dementor type thing that she literally put on like a backpack that she wore Ew. so you have like this weird thing just hanging over like in the backpack <laughs> over her shoulders yeah as we walk into the bowl Ooh, creepy i would keep accidentally swatting at it because i think it was a bug oh no it was as huge as you could it was definitely no but like bug. the you second i like it like oh even grazes any of me like, <laughs> <laughs> that yeah Mm -hmm. I believe that. <laughs> Dumbledore's leaving again. Sirius is dead. Umbridge won. The school is ruined. <laughs> and here's future Draco. Little D. Who is kind of like starting to do his father's like kind of weird prancing. Movie. Yeah, prancing leg thing. If there's no time, it's like, oh, no, we've got time. Got a time, Turner. Oh, now they're going back in time. Harry sees himself from the past and falls in love. How did the past Harry end up with an afro? I I can't even begin to tell you. Future Harry telling past Snape to just stick with Dumbledore. I was going to let those Death Eaters murder you, but no, I'm going to let them, I'm, I'm not going to let them do that anymore. Thank you, Harry figment Potter, of my, figment of my own guilt. <sighs> oh. Every time Draco says the space-time continuum, I'm... Hoping slash expecting someone dressed up as Dr. Brown from the from Back to the Future just come in and be like, Space I'm gonna him. They have other actors playing Ron and Hermione Draco, and the one who's playing Hermione is a dude. I love how Draco's the one being the smart one. It's like Uh huh. Didn't we already deal with the whole Peter Pettigrew thing? Why is he still on his shoulder? Well, I mean the rat's dead, but <laughs> Ron's just carrying around a dead rat on his uh -huh. shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Oh. How's that for a happy thought? I could travel back in time. 
<laughs> There's no need to bitch or whine. There's always a need to bitch or whine. I'm sorry. Exactly. I like, I like if I'm not bitching while I'm doing literally everything, then there's something wrong. I I went on a date once and I told him like I just I I like to complain. They're just like, why? I'm like, it makes me feel better. Yeah. Like I'm a vocal person. So like if I get to as soon as I start bitching and complaining about whatever I'm doing, it's something I like to do. I just need to expel it out of my system. Well, it's the way some people are. So some people don't like to talk about it and other people like to. So, And that's why we are the salty crew. Very true. They're currently doing, wasting the, they went back in time an hour and now they're wasting all of it by doing a dance routine. We've already established that this, these kids don't have common sense. And that's just in canon, let alone this crack shoot. <laughs> like, that's- Jesus. Imagine trying to put this play together, like, to write it. Like, my god. I can't even imagine the chaos that went on. They probably just wrote down ideas, threw it in, all in, a, in a hat, and figured just figured out what order it was going to go in. <laughs> right? It's like, well, with the way that it's going, like, because nothing about it is linear, it's probably just whatever came out of the hat is going on the board in that order. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jacob dance too. Draco? <laughs> I don't know who Draco is, but... I know who Draco is? What the fuck is Draco? Ma- Body behind Hex. As he, tw- he literally twirled to his father, grabbed the wand, twirled away, body hexed him, and then Lucius just kind of went, oh no. And got Yaxley to switch sides. <laughs> I'm auditioning for the wizard cops. Draco's sending his own father to jail. I'm waiting for him to do a plie or a pirouette. Doesn't Draco want to know who his real father is? I'm pretty sure that you can't you can't fake the blonde hair. Or the prancing. Definitely the prancing. Ooh, we called this mm, a tramp. Olivander. <laughs> Someone I may love <laughs> Olivander. Hey, Yaxley asks if he's the dad. Da! Dobby! Draco's father is Dobby. Ooh. Narcissa slept <laughs> with, an, with a house elf. It explains nothing. Why else would you have such a little D? Because your parent is a house elf. Oh, holy shit. I definitely did not remember that from the last time I watched this. That's... Now I lament what beating him senseless. <laughs> My brothers. Lucy's now his wife, Ben Smeagol. <laughs> For now. God. Well, who would be a worse parent? Dobby or Umbridge? Umbridge. Oh, At least Dobby would have good intentions. They Crucio Hermione. Continuing to Crucio Hermione. Oh, werewolf's bag. Why did they need so many people in this werewolf costume? It's like three <laughs> people in this costume. I know. It's ridiculous. The werewolf eats Lucius. It was hungry. Let's go save Sirius. And Yaxley and Ron walk off hand in hand. Oh my god, look at that. So we have a whole orgy Harry, of people that want to kiss Sirius Black. Harry, Ron, Hermione, Draco, and Yaxley all want to kiss Sirius. I don't. I don't like it. No, me neither. Oh, they're Patronus charms. Are Genie, possibly Rudolph, uh, a Star Wars character, and I don't know what else. Terrible horny bitch. Oh, we're going to bust out of the song now. Oh, as always. Yeah, no. Umbridge is not going to get all. Yeah. And is literally with choking Harry to death. Draco had a gun in his sock. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, a sword and a sword in his pants. He's going to pop his head off with his bicep. Oh, here comes Ferenz. It's Ferenz, our centaur friend. Turn around, Ferenz. Umbridge and Ferenz are now in a fist fight. Umbridge is just beating the crap out of Ferenz's chest. And then just bitch slapped him. 
the emotion you humans know as blood. Ooh, friends, bitch slaps on bridge to the go ground. for friends, go for friends. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, oh, it would be fun to choreograph a fight, I think, and then to do it. Oh, Ooh, headbutt! But <clears throat> I wonder how many times they had to rehearse that and, and accidentally hit each other. Umbridge is losing. I'm even to be. <laughs> oh no. Is Ferenz in love with Umbridge now? Oh. oh, yeah. He found a mate. So I found someone to serve on coitus with the centaur. Oh, I actually feel bad for Umbridge. Maybe for this Umbridge, but I do not feel bad whatsoever for the one in the books. The one that actually tortured children? Yes. Oh, he picks that dude up. I have a boyfriend. No, you don't. Little chocolate frogs. Harry Potter did it, y'all. Such a bell. Somebody call the ministry. Dumbledore, Dumbledore hitting on Sirius? No, he's hitting on the Axley. What did you kill? Oh, Pettigrew. The corpse of Peter Pettigrew. Again, out in his underwear, covered in blood. <laughs> And they're like, how did Pettigrew die then, Lupin? Because <laughs> Sirius is like, what the fuck? The infamous Hogwarts Jaguar. Hogwarts Jaguar. Mm, right. The, the, the Jaguar responsible for a lot of property damage, but especially in Lupin's especially office. Especially in Lupin's classroom. Uh-huh. Once again, Sirius Black uh, don't, does not have a trial. And they just are like, you know what? It's fine. We're just going to drop the charges. She's fine. No. <laughs> Harry, I am homeless. Technically, you're not. True. You have Grimald Place. Osseo? Room? Accio. Yeah. Not Osseo. How much do you have on your just person? Like, how, much, how much money you got on you, Harry? Like, Aww. Lupin has the gun. <laughs> in his underwear. Put it back! Put it back on the floor. L Lupin, you... You... That fake mm. blood has to itch. Once it starts to dry, yeah. Good God, that's awkward. You don't want to sit on a broom with me and waddle away? <laughs> so it's not the same person. It's not Draco. If this was a movie, she could do it. It's not a movie. Maybe they're related. They have the same intonation of a voice. Ooh. Ooh. What's Draco and Hermione? It's this is why you love it so much. I figured out it's because there's a whole ass like in your face Dramine thing going on. I admit to nothing. That says everything. I have to go back to the forest. He bows to her. Aww. Aww. Oh, Hermione hugs Aww. Draco. Please don't. Oh, Draco tells her she's the prettiest girl in school. I didn't come back to say my main goal was to get with you. <laughs> Despite the fact that you're both like 10. Beautiful boobies of yours. <laughs> Hermione's like, please stop. Like, uh, not quite there on that page. No. Oh, no. No. I have the lowest self-esteem <laughs> than anyone in Hogwarts. Oof. But I can I think I can do better. Honey, you can Draco is better than Ron. Yeah. Wow. You're always going to be a stepping stone on a, the journey of me feeling better about myself. You Jeez. got friend zoned. Hard. Brutal. <laughs> Draco's like, what, what a bitch. bitch. Draco's so short and Ferenz is so tall that. <laughs> yeah, really. He's like a head and a half taller than him. And yeah. I'm just kind of like, uh, it's getting weird. Oh. Why is Ferenz have a cigarette? How much you want to bet that Umbridge died while trying to have coitus with the centaurs and now he's hoping that Draco will be up to par? Is Draco a cigarette. Why does friends have a cell phone? It's a text, text from Umbridge. From Umbridge. I miss my little pony. 
No. I rather like this. Trinko's over there just smoking a cigarette like, fuck it. What is happening? Luna! Perhaps next year he'll be transferred to pig farts. Professor McGonagill's. So, Draco and Luna are now in love, which is not a not a common twist. Oh, Zach Efron poster's back. Uh, Zephron. Double door. <laughs> or uh, Voldemort's face. Yeah, the Voldemort. Be was- my magical extent. Shannon accepts. The hat proposed to the uh, the scarf. scarf. Like, will you be my magical enchanted accessory for life? Dumbledore. We're tight. We're tight. Harry finally asking, why the hell do I have to be stuck living with the muggles? Uh huh. It's like, yeah, Harry, I'm send you in a, to an abusive home about three months out of the year, just to remind you of how grateful you should be to me. I don't want anybody dangerous, sir. Sir. <laughs> sir. I call bullshit. All right. No, Snape gave Harry a picture of his mom. I said you could have. I said it look you would like it, not that you could have it. I really don't want this to get stuck in my head, but it's very catchy. Uh-huh. There he did the pirouette. <laughs> Can you imagine how hard it would be to memorize all of these lines and the dance routines and the song numbers? I could not do that. I can do one, maybe two, but not all of it. We only get seven years at Hogwarts. Only. Do you see the way Umbridge is like standing, like leaning against the centaur? (laughs) (laughs) This is my man. This is mine. You can keep him. No one cares. Hoggy, hoggy, Hogwarts. Dumbledore just like hyping everyone. I couldn't hear you. This, this is an interesting. Well, you've officially seen the Harry Potter sequel. Thoughts? Um, I definitely like the first one better. Okay. Uh, Umbridge is very creepy. Like I don't know. (laughs) I I don't know if it's because I watched, like, I binge watched the Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, series on Netflix in like two days, but. I, th- the I think looks Umbridge, Umbridge, Umbridge was just kill- yeah, Umbridge is creepy, just real creepy. The, the looks she was giving and the way she was acting, like I'm getting psychopath. Yeah, I think that vibe. was kind of the point, you know, is to give the creepiest vibes possible off, and uh, succeeded wildly. Succeeded. Oh yeah. So yeah, hundred percent succeeded. Oh yeah. So definitely. Umbridge is super creepy. Um, absolute kudos to the actor, though, from going from Voldemort to Umbridge. That's fantastic. Uh, the guy who plays Lucius Malfoy is probably one of my favorites. I love the way he just prances around. And, uh, yeah. It's, honestly, I remember watching it. I watched them back to back, because by the time I watched the first one, the second one was already out. And uh-huh. uh, it was absolutely hilarious especially as, as like a teenager <laughs> and it was just absolutely fucking hilarious and uh i i haven't watched them since i was i was a teenager like i have not gone back and seen these again but uh so there's clearly like, since oh, we had the visceral reaction i'm like oh my god yeah it's been a really really long time but i remember just absolutely loving them as a teenager so but uh yeah they're still hilarious so and uh Nowhere else will you ever say that you want Voldemort and Coral to be together. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere else. Or that you think um, Voldemort is uh, a Zac Efron fan and that Umbridge is Team Jacob. <laughs> For some reason, if Umbridge was like had on the weird chance had read twilight i really feel like umbridge would be team edward like canon umbridge would be team edward canon umbridge yes because Mm -hmm. controlling and psycho yes uh this one i can see why she likes uh, likes jacob yeah jacob because she's a hoe I still don't think the plot of the canon Harry Potter films would have changed if you would have taken this Dumbledore and replaced it with the other Dumbledore. I think it would have been just as ridiculous. Probably. Mm. I I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe with more death. But in all honesty. But uh, yeah. I love this movie. Or play, I guess I should say. 
But uh, anybody who hasn't seen any of the Harry Potter musicals should definitely go check them out. And um, thank you guys so, so very much for watching and uh, for enjoying what, like, if you've never seen the Harry Potter musical, our play-by-play -play of this must have just been wild. Just fucking wild. Just, you hearing us half the time going, what the fuck is going on? What is this? What, oh, what am I looking at? Just, and there are just know, instances bro. where we can't tell you what's happening because we just, we don't know. So, but, um. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. And um, yeah, thank you so, so very much. And we hope you enjoy the next um, parody that we have coming out. And um, I guess since it's December, happy holidays to anybody who celebrates a holiday in December. All the holidays, all the things. All the holidays, all the things, all the fun. Um, or maybe you're just enjoying not being hot because summer's finally fucking over, so. I am. I haven't gotten to that point yet. It's only been nice today because we have a hurricane, so. Because, like, it's only nice because we have a hurricane. That's, that's pretty much the only time the humidity's gone. We wear t-shirts in December. All right, guys. Thank you I, so Yeah, much. I like living. Th thank you, everyone. I like living in the South. Southwest. Must be nice. It is very nice. Mm. No lie. I like paying only $3 for gas. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. On that note, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Tune in next week for more fuckery because we have some serious questions and concerns. Oh my god. <laughs>